everyone hope you all are having a good day i think all of you have heard about bill gates once he said that the computer has an excellent memory but no imagination this is true all of you must agree then who needs to imagine who needs to come up with new ideas it is you dear students you have to come up with new ideas and execute your work with the help of a computer now when you are imagining things you are imagining from where from your brain right so we are talking of brain memory why that is because today's topic is memory or the computer memory so let's begin the topic and yes don't forget to hold your smile what is memory what is memory in our aspect human aspect it is used to store information similarly a computer memory is also used to store information and data you need a place of storage we are going on doing our work with the help of a computer the data has to be stored somewhere where it is being stored in the memory so when we are working the memory is storing things when we move to the next task the memory gets cleared that's the beauty of a computer it has all its tasks set what is memory made up of what is human body made up of we have small small cells similarly computer memory also have parts called cells and cells get further divided into bits bits as we already know 0 and 1 which is the machine language now after having known the work of a memory let us see the types of memory so basically we have how many types two types we have primary memory we have secondary memory primary memory is internal secondary memory is external that means primary memory is present inside a computer secondary memory has to be used from outside primary memory getting divided further into ram rom which you have heard from very junior classes you know the full forms also i suppose shortly we'll have a look at the differences between ram and rom and secondary memory examples pen drive cd dvd external hard disk so many of them so they might be magnetic they might be optical in nature now initially uh, we used to have floppy disks initially again secondary memory example of magnetic disk apart from this we are noting another thing we are noting that we have a concept of cpu register and cache memory that is also a part of computer memory so these are the classifications of a computer memory next primary memory as we saw divided into ram and rom so what is ram full form it is random yes it has come to you i already know access memory so it is random access memory and what is rom rom is read only memory random access memory read only memory difference is very clear ram is temporary storage that is why it is volatile rom is permanent storage that is why it is non volatile so if you have the power of 
the ram contents will go off the rom contents won't go off right so ram is being used generally but for starting a computer you need rom and the last point writing data is faster writing data is slower we are seeing another word here that is mbs gbs we'll have a look at them shortly now this particular question comes a lot so it is important differences between ram and rom secondary memory as we said secondary is external memory we already had a discussion on this you have your pen drives cds dvds all these are secondary memory so it can have programs for a longer period of time whenever we need to store data we need some data we know that uh, we need the data later on we try to store it in pen drives cds dvds so we take the help of secondary memory for this and it has a very good storage uh, capacity the secondary memory and it also acts as a backup that is about secondary memory cache memory please don't pronounce is at it as cache so this is cache so where do we have the cache memory cache memory is placed in between the cpu and the main memory so it is a small but a very fast memory whenever the cpu is looking for information first it will look in the cache memory and then only it will move to the primary memory so it forms a very important part of the computer memory system we see the, its importance whenever a program is executing first the cache memory is searched first so that is about cache memory next we saw memory unit in the form of bits right now what do we see here a collection of 8 bits is making up a byte and 16 bits is making up a word right so this you need to remember and this you need to remember the chart because conversions come in the examination mb to gb kb to uh, tb uh, bytes to mb so you need to have and you need to memorize the hierarchy of memory units starting from bits see we knew it till zeta byte only but now see uh, the weight has increased so you need to know the full chart the classification of units of computer memory measurement yes another very important part of storage is your hard disk all of you have it stored in your uh, uh, your system uh, you open the cpu cabinet you will get to see the hard disk right so your data is being stored where actually it is being stored in the hard disk so your hard disk whenever you are buying a computer you need to have know the capacity of your hard disk in order to your computer run smoothly execution of your tasks this is a very important thing your hard disk the hard disk of your computer right so here we have come to the end of the chapter so if we see the summary what is memory it is storing data and instructions for use for processing we have two types primary secondary so in primary you have ram rom secondary you have cd pen drives etc primary also comprises of cache memory it is the fastest memory and unit of measurement of memory starts from bit and it has gone up to lots you need to remember the chart so that's all for today and next we will meet with the topic types of software enjoy your learning remember the types of memory okay and hope you remember things or this chapter very well thank you